This particular video is actually being done for Omni Audio X02 value range of projectors. Now, this X02 is actually very similar in specs with Omni Audio X01. What is the only difference is that X01 actually comes with electronic focus, while this particular unit is actually comes with the manual focus. Now, there's an advantage in terms of manual focus when it comes to shorter distance between the projector towards the wall. Meaning to say, when it's actually less, 2 meter and lesser, manual focus will actually work better for such a throw. Okay, such a throw distance of a 2 meter and below. Because you will be able to actually adjust better focus with manual focus, but you will not be able to actually adjust with the electronic focus with two meters and below. So those who actually wants to actually achieve at lower than two, two, two meter distance and below, you should go for X02. In terms of brightness, it's similar to X01. The NC lumens is actually about 1,200 NC lumens. So again, in terms of brightness, on LED lumens, we are talking about 14,000 lumens for LED lumens. So without further ado, let's play some YouTube videos, all right? And you'll be able to actually witness the quality of the YouTube video. You, you notice that the LUX is actually on right now, okay? And just for information, this one actually comes with 2 gig of RAM and comes with 16 gig of ROM. Okay, it's running on Android 9. So let's play some 4K videos over here. Let's play this 4K video. Let us turn off the lights entirely. And now it's actually playing on the ARR screen. You can actually see the real deep contrast between the black and white and the color. It's quite a decent video, uh, especially bundling, going and pairing with the ARR screen. So this is a 100 inch that we are projecting and recording right now. So now it's actually connected to the Samsung cell phone. So having said that, let's play on YouTube. We move on to play the Maverick. So if you notice, the lights are still on. So we will actually turn off the lights okay, to play this Top Gun Maverick. instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. His exploits are legendary. What he has to teach you may very well mean the difference between life and death. Your reputation precedes you. Let's After turn on some of the lights and back. see the video quality. They're called orders, Maverick. You see, this is the light. Today's exercise is dog fighting. Two 
versus one. Hey, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> So even with the lights on, you're still able to actually watch on the movie experience very, very clearly. Now I'll move on to actually play you raw 4K files, right? directly from the USB drive. So again, if you notice, now let's turn off the lights. Performance is not bad. Eh? Okay, let's turn on the lights again, right, to show you that it's actually still on a very good performance basis. Okay, that's the end of our demonstration. I'm going to give you more insights on some of the configurations, like the distance throw and so on and so forth. So this is the laser measuring tool. So from here, you'll be able to see the red dot that is actually on the left. And now the thing is measuring at 3.551, right? About 3.5 meter to achieve a 100 inch screen. That's what you see right in front. Okay, as you can see, when I speak, the meter actually capturing my voice, which you see some variations of the numbers. When I keep silence, now it's about one meter that is actually from the projector. So on average, you're getting about 45 when there's actually total silence. So the fan sound that is actually from the projector is very well acceptable, like the library sound. So this is the projector of X02, right? In actually dark gray or sometimes we call it black color. Now look at it. I'm going to show you the 360 degree view. Now on the side, this is actually the focus port. So over here, there's actually a filter. The filter will actually be a drag down from, from here. You pull it down to change the filter. Okay. So right at the back, you will notice that there are several ports that is actually over here. One is the, the first two is actually the HDMI port. Next is actually the USB, AV, audio video in and audio out, infrared sensor for the remote control, and then you have a LAN port, last but not least, the power port. There's nothing much over here, but um, it has the ventilation for the fan. Okay, so this is another IR port that is over here. Right at the top, there are actually only two buttons. One of them, the bigger round circle is actually the power button, and the smaller one is actually the mute button. 